Greetings viewers, Chaconatic aka Lou here, and welcome back to another episode of The Adventures of Lyle, my Prowler Mode playthrough of Monster Hunter Generations. In the last episode, we hunted the Kushala Daura, and in this episode, we will be hunting the Camellios, the next big scary elder dragon on these last few steps before we finally get to the high rank stuff. And one more thing, Jackie. <laughs> I forgot to mention this in the last video, but I got my hands on some fancy little trinkets now. Those trinkets being the Power Talon and the Armor Talon. So yeah, these, these four items are pretty much all that I'm ever going to need as a cat. <laughs> and now I got all of them. And those are legit. You might be thinking, hey, how did he get, you know... Devil Joe Talons at HR4. That's cheating. There's no way. I call hacks. Actually, um, after uh, beating Shigaru, we unlocked the Faded 4 quest in the village. And after I beat that quest, off camera as a human, of course, it unlocked several other quests, one of which involves hunting a Devil Joe, a Tigrix, and a Nargakuga in the arena. And while I was not able to successfully beat that quest just yet, because I still only have, like, low rank gear and I just wasn't strong enough, I did, through a tremendous amount of effort, somehow manage to kill the Devil Joe before getting double teamed by Nargakuga and Tigrex. So, uh, I was able to get what I needed from him and make those, uh, armor and power talents. And those will very much come in handy against uh, some of these tougher monsters. But the thing about uh, Camellios is that he can steal your items. And there is no, like, anti-theft skill for cats. At least none that I have on any of my cats. So that means we're going to have to be very careful that he doesn't steal my power and or armor talons. Because that would be really frustrating if he did. Uh, I do have a couple spare Devil Joe Talons to make new ones, but it's still... Those things aren't exactly easy to come by, and I'd rather he, he didn't steal them. So we're going to have to be extra careful of that tongue. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're going up against Cammy. So let's freaking get this show on the road. I got my Kushala armor and my uh, Glavinus uh, weapon. Because he's weakest to fire, so I figured, why not? And there he is! Karma, 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 chameleos. More like klepto chameleos. And speaking of skills, I currently have uh, negate wind, and most importantly, negate poison. So... I don't have to worry about all the poison that'll be literally everywhere during this fight. Which is a huge help. Like, if you're going up against Camellios, you better be packing Negate Poison. It's practically necessary to fight this guy without having huge friggin' headaches. And the subquest is to sever his tail. But Camellios' tail is notoriously difficult to sever. Like, you have to hit just the tip of it, or else it doesn't count as cutting the tail. And, and it takes so many hits. It's just absurd. And he moves around so much. It's almost impossible, especially solo. So we're not gonna waste time trying to sever that tail. We're just gonna cut the shit out of his back legs until this sorry bastard keels over. <laughs> and that's my strategy in a nutshell. Because his front legs are really bouncy. You don't want to be attacking the front legs. And he does that little tail slap to just keep you on your guard if you stay uh, like behind his tail for too long. Like you might do it right now, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, there's not too much this guy can do since I've got Negate Poison and Negate Wind. Uh, he can steal my items and some other stuff. And yeah, this is, uh, I forget the name of the skill, 
It's uh, a new skill that Meowth has now. Or not skill, uh, Palico support move. Uh, Shock Tripper, I believe it's called. It places down this little, like, electric looking field, which apparently makes it easier to knock monsters down if you attack them while they're standing over it. Personally, I think they should make it a little bit bigger than just that tiny little spot. Uh, but it's whatever, you know. It's, it's something to fill an empty move slot now that uh, Meowth and Luther are both level 26 and have unlocked an extra move slot. And Luther, by the way, uh, I gave him... Oh, you stole my map, you bastard. But yeah, Luther now has uh, the one that gives him more sharpness. Handicraft. Oh, no, that's a skill. Uh, his move is weapon upgrade which apparently gives like more affinity so yeah between that and his handicraft skill he'll be doing a lot more damage with his weapon which is good because you know he's he's fighting type fighting bias whatever it's, it's good for him to be packing a good wallop oh and Meowk has a new skill as well uh, I think it's called harmonizing health horn or something like that basically if I don't already have max health and he uses health horn or true health horn then it will raise my maximum health along with healing me in general so that's really nice it, it's great for when I can't quite pack you know max health every time and uh, he can just give me that little boost when he heals me it's it's so helpful. And he is really smacking me with that tail, this son of a bitch Camellios. Oh yeah, and I didn't mention, uh... Son of a bitch, that tongue has such stupid range. It goes around his side. That is just so ridiculous. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, Lyle is level 30 now. And apparently nothing happens when you reach level 30. Because uh, I didn't get any extra move slots or anything like that. Or even learn any new moves. So it's like, okay, nothing really happens at level 30, I guess. <laughs> you know, it seems like every other increment of five levels, like, gives you some sort of upgrade. But at level 30, nothing happens. <laughs> for some odd reason. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, level 35 will be different, because that's the max I can get for now. Uh, it'll probably be further down the line when I'll unlock the quest that, uh, you know, kicks it up all the way to 50 for the max levels for the cats. But for now, we got level 35 as the max level, which is pretty cool. I'll be able to do some fancy new stuff with all these extra move slots now. And new moves unlocked. It's, it's good. Things are looking pretty good for Lyle and all the other cats right now. If we can just take care of these last few Elder Dragons and get into the high rank quests, then who knows what other stuff we'll unlock. And it looks like we have a rage mode, if I'm not mistaken. And he vanished. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize I have fucking six points. I've been so busy uh, talking to everybody. By which I mean talking to myself. Uh, that I didn't even... Oh, fuck your tongue! You motherfucker, you're damn right I'm mad. I can't see shit, but I'm going to shoot the shit out of you. You son of a bitch. Come on. What the fuck? Turn around. Eat this, you son of a bitch. Suck on this wrath of meow. Alright, where is he? <laughs> I can't see him. His time is now. I already made that joke with Shona. Shogun Cena to her. You're not the real John Cena. You're just a cheap imitation. Come back where I can see you. Where is he? Come on, I'm wasting my whole fucking Wrath of Meow. 
And that was it. Just a few measly shots out of it. Fuck you, I can't even see with this stupid fog. Feline Fury Attack! You bastard! Yeah, that's right. Fly away, you bitch. And he stole my map, so I can't even tell you what number area he's in, but luckily I still got my cat instincts to give me a general idea of where he is. It does not look like he's in nine, that in that frustratingly thin, like, bottleneck area. Yeah, he's in uh, four, I think this is. The area just before the dragon nest. And if it's not the fucking mist, it's the fucking bushes. I can just never see what I'm doing. I doubt we'll be able to get him out, but hey, it's worth a try. If I could climb up the fucking cliff... Oh. So yeah. I really like... I know I say this about every monster... But I mean it especially with uh, Camellios. I just love his design so much. And yet he's such a pain in the ass when it comes to actually hunting him. He's, he's probably one of my favorite monsters in terms of design. Like, he's just so cool. So unique. But such a pain in the ass. Seriously. Even without his poison. Now he's over here, and the stupid fucking poison cloud gets in the way. And that's failure. Come on, aim towards him, please. Fucking mist won't let me see shit. Oh my goodness, we have a mount, ladies and germs. Oh, he is tricky to mount. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I think he stopped. Nope. Oh! I can't believe it. My first failed mount on camera and that fucking tongue. Ugh, you bastard camellios. Why must you be so annoying? I was so close, I almost had it. Ugh. Where are you, you bastard? Come out and show yourself. Come out and fight like a monster. Ow, fuck you. That is cowardly. Get fucking back here. Coward! Face me! Fucking stupid bouncy forelegs. Oh my god, he just never fucking holds still. He is an asshole through and through, this guy. Can't believe we failed that mount. Damn it. I almost never fail a mount. Like, I don't mean to be too proud of myself, but I'm pretty good when it comes to mounting monsters. But I just completely fucked that one up on camera for the world to see. And I feel so ashamed. You're gonna pay for making me look bad, you bastard. I am going to shove this glavinous blade right up your dragon ass. Yeah, that's right. Fly away in fear. <clears throat> 
Okay, looks like he's going back to uh, the big area, whatever it's called. Can't tell because I don't have the map. Three, that looks like. Oh, Camellios, I'm going to kill you. That's it, get him, Luther. Ah, charge. And that looks like a rage mode missed attack. And he disappears. <sighs> that charge is pretty scary. Okay, he's tongue in the air. Not gonna let him get the best of me with that tongue. I do not want him stealing these talons. Ugh, fucking stupid bouncy forelegs. I could have used the Kushala weapon, which has blue sharpness, but I wanted to take advantage of his weakness to fire. But unfortunately, this Glavinous weapon only has green sharpness, so I gotta be careful where I hit him. But in return, I'm probably doing more damage. Or maybe not, because uh, blue sharpness amplifies the weapon's raw damage. So, I don't know, maybe I would have been better off with the Kushala wand. Anyway, what's he up to now? I want to drop the Palico Rally, but all my Palicos are dead. Oh, fuck you! That thing, that fucking tongue should not go all the way around his side. That is such bullshit. Feline Fury Combo! Just keep swinging, just keep swinging. That's right, fall down, you bitch. Suck on all of this. I am just going to keep swinging until you die. <laughs> or maybe not. And he runs away again, the coward. <sighs> Drop that Palico Rally. And let's get back in there. We got an Elder Dragon to hunt, boys. I'm going to just spam this Fury combo until it runs out. And it ran out. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. And I'm sure we're getting nice damage in. Watch out for that tongue. And another rage mode, looks like. Oh, I'm surprised. He usually vanishes right after he does that mist spray. Instead, he flew off. Alright. This guy's a fucking coward. All he does is run. Well, he won't get far. My cat-like senses can track him wherever he goes. Even without a map, you can't escape from me. As he disappears into the fog. <laughs> okay, then. 
Where is he? There he is. Go get him. Stupid fucking four legs. Ooh, that's a stagger, looked like. Can't even fucking see with all this goddamn fog. His weed is too dank. But it looks like he went to the nest. So I think this may mean he's close to death. I'm not sure if he sleeps here in five or if he just came here because he felt like it. Either way, it's time to put him to bed permanently. Ooh, and we have enough for another Wrath of Meow. Talk about cool. Two Wrath of Meows in one video. But I gotta create an opening to use it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Oh, fuck it. Let's just use it. Fucking stop. Just hold still, damn you. Yeah, just stay in the corner and I'll just shoot you. How about that? Turn around. Shoot him. Oh yeah! Wrath of Meow finish for the win! <laughs> he sticks his song out as he dies. I love it. Oh yes! That was beautiful. And let me just end that Wrath of Meow so that I can carve him. Yeah, in case you didn't know, if you press the kick button <laughs> right there, at the uh, top right corner of the screen where it says kick. Yeah, if when you're in Wrath of Meow, it changes to end or end whatever. So yeah, you can you can press the kick button at any time during Wrath of Meow to get out of it. So if the monster dies while you're in the middle of Wrath of Meow, like just now, you can get out of it so you can carve. It's pretty handy. Uh, like I said, the only thing I think Wrath of Meow could really use is a 180 degree turn button. That would really fucking help. But besides that, I, I love Wrath of Meow. It, it gets the job done, as you just saw. <laughs> and there we have it. We have hunted the Camellios. Lyle never ceases to amaze me. He's uh, getting better and better every day, it seems. Okay, this is all garbage. We got some, ooh, a tail. Two tails, even though we didn't even sever his tail. Pretty nice. And those don't matter to me. And Meowk is now level 27. Luther still has to catch up. He's 26. But yeah, everybody's getting stronger. So good. Everything's going good today. <clears throat> and we didn't get our talons stolen. Did we? They're still here. Intact, baby. But I just wish we didn't screw up that mount. Other than that, that was, that was almost perfect. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.